Legendary guardians choke sometimes too, yeah? <laughs> Legendary guardian? I was just a boy. A boy about your age, actually. I wanted to change the world too. But I changed nothing. That is my story. Yeah, so because I had to reload after my first game over against this guy. Ether, I think that's the rare steel. I actually don't like the rare steel here. Need that mana tablet, man. Silence. Immune to darkness. Immune to giving mana tablets, which I definitely really wanted. Sleep Buster, not enough. Oh, Delay Buster is nice. I didn't realize it was that good. Whoa. Dara twice. I wish it hit someone else. It's rare that he uses weak attacks like that. But yeah, so I think we tried all of these and they don't really work. So let's get down to business. Is he still in haste or is he back to normal? We'll ride out this haste for as long as we can. Poison used to do big damage to this guy back in the day. Big, big damage. Ludo's not had a map. Ludo is like, miss me with that shit. Okay, already down to 7,000. Good. Um, I'm going to preemptively give Warren some extra protection in case there's a big crazy move at the end. We still haven't seen Tail yet. Uh, Kimari. Oh yeah, we missed out on Mighty Guard because of the game over. Almost forgot. That's good. Okay, I think everyone got a turn. Yeah, Pebo got a turn too. So we can go for a final steal. Ah, no mana tabs this time. surviving that and again it's poison damage that's going to kill it so hopefully no tail as a result yep. well I, I don't know if tail is the the death move but mm. we've killed it twice and they've both been through poison so I can't say much uh, deuce yeah more strength finally Ugh, I wish there were increments of 4 38 it's still fairly low Ah, ejector shot. Yeah. One, I think this is like the first new ability we've had in this entire mod. Wow. Cool. 
Uh, I think I'll go back and replenish my MP. Since I have to cross it again anyway. But just in case we get sucked into a battle. time against this guy. I forgot to switch Tyus's weapon back. That was not good. I can see no difficulty. Blow away an enemy. You need both overdrive and MP to use. Ah, okay. So wait a minute, that's but shooting star already does that, so why would I even bother with this? I think this is somewhere I'll make a save state, I think, because obviously on paper that seems pointless, because if Auron already has Shooting Star, I guess the idea maybe is that eventually, because every, everyone can learn this, or you can use a skill sphere, that people who don't have Shooting Star can still do it, but I'm not, I'm a bit confused. Maybe it's not all of your overdrive. So let's use it, I think. Ah, okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. Yeah, okay. Okay. Basically, get out of jail free shot. Cool. So, how much overdrive? It's like a quarter? Or a third? Okay. Right. Now it definitely makes sense. Uh, and we got a weapon for our troubles. Okay, a bit random, but cool. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I still think zombie attack's probably the better one to teach. Um, Waka, especially, I think. But ejects a shot is pretty damn nice. Let's get Tyus's correct weapon and switch him in. We will make it to Sanctuary Keeper by the end of this session. Ah, Mandragora, the first time we face this guy. I was going to say I would use Auto Med, but because I customized Poison Touch, I have no antidotes left. And that's probably going to mean we're going to waste a lot of remedies. Hmm. Yeah, still two remedies, I don't think that's that worth it. Let's get Kimari to scan, just so I can see what the immunities are without wasting time. Oh, that's a fire. Yeah, that's all usual. I think the HP is the same as well. Okay, so I'm looking at this, and of course the most dangerous thing I'm seeing is that Ochu Dance inflicts confusion. That's probably not something that was the case before. And of course poison. So we all know that poison plus confusion is usually doom. Now if you look at immunity, slow is something I was going to try, but that's not possible. Provoke is not possible either. But one thing that does seem possible is sleep. And I think sleep was like an old trick that you could use against this guy. So I might see if sleep buster is working for me. And probably go from there. The more damage it takes, the sooner it uses earthquake. Okay, I've got to be careful here. I have to be very careful. I'm going to bring Ludo in and start firing off some fire Argus. Let's see how much damage it does. Hopefully it's, it's a decent amount. Oh yeah. Okay, 3000 is decent. But can we get the Sleep Buster to work? If, if it's not going to work reliably, then we're in trouble. That's good. I'm gonna have to use a fair bit of. Well, pretty much technically, it would be all of Lulu's MP. That's why it's probably best to still use Auron here.
probably try and haste Auron as well. I'm going to take the hit here. So these are the kind of situations where ejector shot is going to become much more handy. But Let's try... Yep, of course. Again, first time I tried Sleep Buster, it worked. Second time I tried it worked. Good. So Sleep Buster seems reliable enough to, to make this to make this a good strategy. I'm gonna equip a confused ward just in case. Just about gonna not be able to do enough damage here. Unless Sleep Buster works. Yeah, the one time it didn't work was when we were in earthquake range, of course. That one. Fine, that's not too bad. I expected worse. 8,000. I feel like this is, this is a worthy delay buster. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, we're good. Uh, did everybody get a turn here? I think they did. 3,400. I was going to try and steal, but then I don't think Oren has enough. Okay. Well. It's that agility coming in. We're almost up to, like, 70. I think we're 70 plus now. That's good. Okay. We're done with Mandragora pretty well, I think. Those two sleep busters came in handy. Six thousand two hundred, that's nice. Snakehead. I wonder when, if ever, we're gonna start seeing strikes from random encounter drops. Okay, let's keep moving. Copycat. That's nice. It feels pretty niche right now, but I, I wonder. There could be like a specific situation where it could be useful to me. Never know. Right, this time I'm hoping for mana tablets. Good. I'm probably going to use an ejector shot again to just save resources. So try and give everyone a turn. Maybe it's immune to eject, I don't know. But. So yeah, let's... This ends now. Let's get that ejector shot. Oh, wait. Overdrive plus MP to use. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you need a full overdrive, but it doesn't use up all of your overdrive. So he's found a compromise so that you can't spam it too hard, which... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I didn't realize that that was the case, though. So that means... We've got damage to do. Speed up Auron. Uh, get bio on there again. Because of the big damage, though, he should. Ah, oh, shit. He should get his overdrive soon. Huh. 
So now that she's got the tier 3 spells, the MP's going to drain much more quickly. You see, again, the first two times I used Bio, it stuck the first time, and now she's missed two in a row. I swear, there's just something different about this mod in that sense. I think you used to be able to provoke this guy so that he only used Thundaga on one person, I think. It was something like that. Or was that Behemoth King? It's definitely one of them. Miss. Okay, so it's not impossible. Uh, speaking of miss. Grief. Oren stands firm. Well played. This uses White Wind. White Wind is something I almost never use. I'm just curious to see how much HP it gives you back. Okay, not as much as I thought. Yeah, that was definitely going to happen. Yeah, as you can see, Bio just continues to miss now. I'm going to defend just in case that tail comes. We're still yet to see it, but it's worrying me. His presence just... There you go. Eat that thunder up. That was good. Almost there. So I feel like now we might see tail. Just in case we do. Just in case the move is Thundara again, I'm just going to do it like this. Even with her very high defense, it's not good enough. Oof. To be honest, she's not going to get the MP regardless. Just, just screw it. I can't bother to wait around that long. So we still haven't seen Tail at all. But you saw the bio fail three times, so 30 MP wasted. That's how it's done. Worked twice in a row, failed three times in a row. So these are kind of patterns, like I'm saying, that I just did not notice before. But I see it happening all the time in this mod. Kuraga, nice. Right, we can finally start moving towards zombie attack now. Uh, Oren got a Protect Bracer, I believe. Look at that, SOS Protect, nice. Cool. SOS protect, add a SOS shell, and you're doing well. SOS, I don't know, some other thing. Haste. And you got yourself like a mini ultimate armor. Right, they're going to go in the water anyway. I think for this session, I just got to get the second trial done, and then I'll probably have to save. Right, there were two chests that I could have gotten, so hopefully I should get the chance now. This isn't the second trial, by the way. Ambushed. Great. Great. Okay, how shall we do this? Uh, I feel like, again, probably... I think these guys were susceptible to sleep. One out of three. Oh, 
Right, if we can survive this, then we'll try and capitalize. Okay. Try and sleep in powder again. Wow. Oh yeah, we've got a zombie touch now. Might be worth trying it out. One in three chance. Zombie. This is why zombie touch slash zombie attack is such a thing. Bye bye. That's good. No stone touch or death touch working there. We'll have three shots at it though. Zombified again, that's good. Go, no, bye bye to you. The thing is we're at that HP level if we if we let it use the sonic wave thing, it's still gonna kill two out of three of us, so I have no choice but to be patient here and waste a bit more of my resources. Okay, I'll probably give it a steal because I can get water gems from this guy as well, I believe. So. Steal, and that will reset the counter. Healing spring. Oh, that's our first healing spring, actually. Nice. Okay. The zombie touch working nicely. So this thing clearly has no resistance to it. But okay, it's forcing me to. Phoenix down it. So we killed all three of them using the same technique. Wow. Okay. Nice. That's only made a difference. And they do definitely like to give equipment as well, which is a bonus. And we're one move away from Osmos, which is going to be huge for Waka. So zombie attack plus the ability to do that is going to be really, really good. And of course Mug. I can I can consider giving him Mug then as well. Like my options for the skill sphere that I have are going to be even greater. It's going to be such a difficult decision. Part of me wants to put zombie touch on this now. We'll do it depending on the candle of life situation. Okay, trial number two. Yeah, Riku. In you go. Of 
course it has to be the annoying iteration again. Uh... So yes, of course I'm liking my zombie touch now, especially given that it has a pretty good success rate as well. He says, and it doesn't work, of course. Uh, I think you need 20 for sleep proof, so I'm not going to use any more, I think. But you can see, I mean, I went from a situation where I had two um, stone touches working at once to stone touch plus death touch and neither of them working. Really is no in between on this mod. See, now, <laughs> yeah, I th th this is the pattern I'm spoiling. So when I use something new for the first time, so my zombie touch weapon, I use it for the first time. You saw in the previous battle that it worked three times in a row. And then the second battle where you have it, it feels like that's when the new mechanics kick in or something. I don't know if that's it. I'll have to ask people I'm mad about that because that can't be, it can't be coincidence that it's happened this many times. So now suddenly zombie touch is, is way less effective than it was the first time. And I've, I've literally noticed that happen multiple times throughout the playthrough. But this just makes everything way more dangerous. Uh, I'm just going to tough it out. As long as we can survive Maelstrom, we should be okay. There you go, Death Touch worked. Took a, took a while, but it did. Liking that healing spring still, man. That could be vital. Let's see, three in a row now for zombie touch, not working. To be honest, I prefer that they die here because of alchemy. I end up, um, I end up getting everyone back with full HP anyway. bad. Another healing spring, please, if you got it. Okay, healing spring must be the rare steel, I think. So finally, the states are starting to kick in. Managed to get a petrification and a death touch in this spell. There we go, fourth time now. So we had three in a row, then three where it didn't work. And then it worked the full time. So figure that one out. Because healing springs are so few and far between, I might go for another steal. Try and make sure everyone can survive. Good. So we'll keep attacking to the final turn to see if we have to use it. We don't. Good. Up close, they're really cool looking enemies as well. We never really get to see it. Yeah, there we go. Fortune Sphere, a rarity. Waka. So we've got two Fortune Spheres now, actually, and one Luck Sphere. He was the guy with the luck, right? 23. Okay. How many have I got to use for Zombie Touch? That's a huge amount. 
it's not something I can really sacrifice at this time, I think. I feel like we're not going to get the opportunity to get 99 or 60 petrified grenades anytime soon. I'm trying to think. The Omega Ruins is the place where you really start to pick those up, and by the time you get to the Omega Ruins, I can already probably make a nice, um, a nice ultimate weapon. Because if I don't, this is just going to stay empty for quite some time. But it is 10 more petrified grenades. I'd rather leave it for a stone proof, just in case. Not going for it. But I would like to get to those two chests as well. Stealing. Yeah, no zombie touch again. Just in case it helps. Oh, nice death touch worked again. See, that's more, these are more like realistic rates now. Three water gems, nice. There we go. Okay, now, now we're flying. See, now we're on a streak where it's working again. <laughs> Attack P bird, you know you want to. There you go. It's actually again it's it's a better option for me. Less high potion wastage. Counter is much higher in the second pool. More agility. Very welcome. Okay, good. Wow, well, forgot to change their weapons. Wrong one to steal from, but whatever. Oh, okay, so they all have frag grenades as a rare steal. Regardless. Even a singular one has more than 1,800 HP. That's impressive. Even the little shit's got frag grenades though. That, that should mean that this hit that this hit will be enough. Yes, sir. Alright, doing a little bit better in here now. Uh, 
the still section is so long. Because the swimming is so slow. You're bound to get about four encounters. Each swim forwards and backwards. Well, uh... Okay, getting plenty of frag grenades, which could definitely help. Again, up close, these look really cool as well. You can't really tell the the red kind of effect that they have on their scales from a distance. Yeah, the little one coming up with the frag grenades, nice. Death touch. Can we please get out of here? There we go. That's a relief. Now. We can finally heal again. That was a wrong heal, but... Okay. Ah, these guys haven't appeared for a while. Uh, I guess this is another one, a good one to test if zombie touch works. It's unlikely, but it's worth finding out, I think. Actually, let's bring in Yuna to use life. We're heading towards the save zone. Then again, it's 18. Do I really want to use it? Just for the hell of it, just so it's something different. <laughs> Look at that. That is some goodness right there. Zombies are a really nice ability. You can psych yourself all you want, boy. If you get that zombie, you're finished. Allow me. Let's see how much Fire Aga does against these guys. I think it was like the 3000 mark. Okay. Kimari's still only doing a thousand damage. Go, got it. We should let it use regen on itself, that'd be quite funny. I think I might just do that. Okay, you're forcing me to... I can't be dealing with that. But I'm pretty sure Psych Up has a, has a reflex element to it. Which is fine. Haste ring. Ooh. I guess you could farm these guys until you really got what you wanted. And two free slots, that's huge. But you can see the, the zombie touch working wonders for me right now. And I should dispatch the two Bashura pretty quickly. Now, does the teleport pad reappear here or is that after Sanctuary Keeper? Probably have to go back and get 99 Phoenix Downs. Now, uh, Waka got to come in with a Sleep Buster here. Okay. Uh, I mean, just so I can steal some masks, I'm going to go for this.
even if it's a, a flame ball, Auron will eat up those uh, those flame balls anyway. But then again, it gets a turn after. What? <sighs> he knows that he knows that Confused Ward is an important tool. So ready with pickpocket, we've got two nothing steals. That's too much, man. Don't do that. Seriously. I don't like that one bit. Two seven two should be enough to take out with some kind of spell here. <laughs> She's like an Arnold Schwarzenegger with these one-liners. There you go, just about enough. Uh, bring Aura back to the Flame Ball. Uh, what was he using? Oh. There we go. So I think it does follow a pattern. I think Flame Ball is always the third move. Wait. He he had SRS Null Blaze. Did he not? Did I just miss something there? I might I might have changed it to the wrong thing. Wow. Uh Okay. She's quick enough to bring Walker back. From the brink. So I think after this flame ball is coming again. Oh, we got a double move somehow. Fine. We won't question it. I think we're doing enough damage without armor break. I'm not going to waste my time on that. Of course, he missed. Because of reflex, by the way. Oh no, I forgot about this. I forgot about Reflect. I'm so not used to having Reflect. Yeesh. This is despite the fact that it that this guy has aim as well, which is interesting. You can see how much of a formidable opponent it becomes though. Uh High agility person have a different no. I mean the agility is what's interesting here. Look at look at the turn order here. There's a double turn after after its next one. That's really interesting. If this is flame ball, I think she gets taken out here. Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna Auron can tank this out anyway. I can't bother to try and keep people alive here. Look at how little damage he took from that flame ball. What a beast. I think this is another battle where zombie zombie touch could work. I think if you waste too much too much time trying to be defensive, it's going to take all day. You're better off just moving, because it doesn't have a huge amount of HP. That's your reprieve. So there we go. Next segment done safely as well. After such a terrible star, it's slow progress, but it's progress nonetheless. What's not progressing is this 
There we go. I had to leave the, the system running for a little bit, so... I think the clock is probably about maybe four or five hours ahead in total now, maybe more than what it should be. Just for reference. Even more magic defense. And finally, Osmos. Wonderful. Okay, looking forward to seeing that in action. Probably going to cost like 400 MP. Funny, Auron literally hasn't. He's been doing all this killing. He hasn't really got any blades at all. I sold a few of them off, but he hasn't got any in like the last few hours. Let's go again. Maybe more mana tablets. Ugh, why? Sometimes she just gets the rare steel when she shouldn't. This thing used to be susceptible to zombie. Not anymore. So you can't have it that easy. Uh, nothing. Survive that like a boss. Nice critical there. We'll see if bio works this time. Usually if it fails the first time it doesn't work the second. That's what I found. Alright, it worked. See, there's, again, last time we used it three in a row didn't work. But we got it first time twice. Three times actually, I think. Over the course of this session. Two attacks in a row. This is the difference agility makes. Lulu's not had a map. I really want to steal another mana tablet. We've met it so many times that I've only stolen once because against this guy she just keeps getting the rare steal for some reason. Or red. Uh, Kimari just really weak at this stage. Oh yeah, we'll see tail for the first time, I think. This is the first time I think we'll kill it without poison damage, I believe. Enough. Yeah, Tail just seems a very rare ability that doesn't get used very often, but it must be very powerful when it does. Moonbangle. Ooh, wow. Okay. Picking up some cool stuff. I think in the water I'm going to start running now because it's just going to... It's getting a bit long now. And they're gaining levels ahead of everyone else. If there's healing springs to be stolen, I'll steal them. If not, won't bother. Right, was this just money? Return sphere, nice. But we need three of them. Recovery ring. Just HP stroll, I think. So a return sphere is nice, but because you need three, it's going to be unlikely we're going to get first strike again anytime soon for our third character. Now, this is the healing spring situation, so how about the rare steel now? Yeah. Now you charge away. Yeah, I'm just going to flee from here on. I think we have maybe four healing springs total. Five. 
I think we've encountered everything here. That there should have been one wolf encounter, I believe, but we haven't met that one at all. Okay, there should be a save sphere right before Sanctuary Keeper anyway, so I don't need to bother too much with that ambush there. Okay. Nice. And if we get the sleep as well, that'd be a nice little intro. Now sleep buster stopped working. Well then, what next? She almost always has a battle quote when she enters battle, I love that. I feel like she's the only one who does. Oh yeah, we haven't used Osmos yet, we'll give that a go in this battle. But we of, of course we can't put it to sleep now. Uh, in case Ochu dance happens again. Take an extra precaution here. Okay. Let's use it, Osmos. Fantastic. That's exactly what we need. Really, really good. Three Shremedies. Now would be the best time for Sleep Buster to work. It's the fourth time, come on. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So be it. It's probably still not going to be enough, to be honest. How close are we? Wow, okay. I think Earthquake is just damage and delay. And can we finish it off? Oh. It's off. There it is. Mandragora gives good AP, so it's always worth fighting. And you can get a good weapon too, maybe. I could swear Kimari got a move, damn it. Right, let's get up here and get ready for the showdown with Sanctuary Keeper. This guy is dropping nice, um, nice equipment as well, so I think I do want to go for it. See if this works. Damn it. I mean, Bio does get us a good 10,000 damage, but you see, works the first time or doesn't work at all. That's been the theme. Okay, Power Break hasn't stuck either. Gotta make sure it does. This ends now. Okay, did it stick? Nope. Okay. Well then, what next? What next is you try bio again and prove my theory that it's not going to work. There you go. Thank you. So yeah, it, it's honestly, I get the impression that it's predetermined at the start of the battle as to what resistance it's going to have. I know that isn't how it usually is, but I feel like that's the only explanation for what I'm seeing. As you can see, look. I'm going to definitely ask P. Bladman about that, that's that's not normal.
because the power break doesn't stick this time either. So as you can see, um, I think I've tried two or three power breaks, none of them have worked. And I've tried uh, three bios, none of those have worked either. So for this battle, he's just got status, he's just got resistance to everything. So either they both work or, or, or none of them work as well. So it's really, really odd. I've never noticed it as much as I have in this session. See? No power break. I'm literally going to ride this out to the end just to, just to prove my point that there's really something weird going on here. Yep. So, I mean, previously when I thought something was a bug, it was something deliberately done by P. Birdman, but I'm like, how would he even do this? The only explanation is that you can encounter different types of behemoth that have different resistances. But would he have really gone that in depth? Like one of them has one of them has like no resistance to stuff like power break, and one of them has like auto rune veil, which gives them some crazy resistance or some shit. I don't know. Or it's a bug. Because there's no way this makes sense. I mean, I guess all I can do at this stage is if it doesn't work the first time, then I don't bother using it and just assume that that's just the way it is, but that's not how it should be. But as you can see, I mean, it's just... it doesn't work. It's, I feel like it's the same with everything. It's the same with, like, rare steals where the pickpocket's gonna work. It's the same with status, of, status effects. There you go, see, it took six castings. It just doesn't add up, it really doesn't. Six castings. And I've had it hit the first time on three occasions out of five. Very odd. Still haven't seen Tail yet, by the way. I don't know if it only comes out under a specific circumstance. Maybe it's when you use Provoke. Another mana tablet, that's nice. Yeah, so, I don't know. We had a total of about 12 hits. We had a total of about 12 hits that were either Power Break or, um, or Poison. And only one of them worked. And the previous time we had both of them afflicted within the first two moves or three moves. Tomorrow is a long way away from any more strength. Titus is not, fortunately. Up the steps. Oh, come on. Again, it's a good way to test my hypothesis, so let's do it launch in with a power break. Let's see if we get it first time. This lack of sense is just annoying, you have to keep switching, but I don't have a choice. Okay, didn't work again. Let's see if this time the poison's gonna work first time. Let's end this. Nope, missed again, so I think it's another one of these kind of battles. Yeah, as you can see, it's not working again. But yeah, I mean, I think I proved my point here that it just doesn't seem to work. Either it works first time or pretty much it... Like, if it's not working the first time, the rate of it working is like 10, 15%. So yeah, I'm going to flee. I've had enough of this. Strange. I refuse to believe that that's just normal. It's either something that P-Burb has implemented. It's very weird. Um like, way of changing up the battle. Like, you don't know which version you're going to face, or there's something wrong. You shall fear magic. Ooh, nice. I just want to see how much Lulu's Fire Aga can do. Yep, 
Let's end this. Then again, she's only got 82 left. Um, if only she had Osmos. Three down, seven. That's, it hasn't made a huge difference, to be fair. There we go. Here's the first Ochu dance of the game. No one got hit with confusion, which was nice. So the rate must not be very high. So he's been kind enough with that. Fair play. I think we'll use a fire gem here. Get that final get that final bit of damage done. This should finish it off, I think. There we don't go. Oh, man. I really thought that was enough. Let's walk her back in time. He's not, so fuck it. That was one hit away. Yeah. All right, here we go. One thing I might do while I'm here is is get into some more Aeryman encounters and steal some musks because i got a feeling I'm going to need at least Confused Ward or something for Unileska. I can't dive in with no Confusion protection. I'm not a fool. So I think I'm going to end the, end the session here. I've been grinding. I've been getting through everything. I'm just, I'm right at the save sphere now. Let's just move it along. Okay. So I finished the session here. I think next time I play, I might uh, go for those masks, steal a few, and then we will take on Sanctuary Keeper. One of my favourite bosses in the entire game. Tyler's got that Strength plus 4 at a very good time. And she got that Magic plus 2 at a very good time. I guess we'll have... We won't have Regen for this battle. But we will for Unileska. Okay. We're done, guys. I will see you soon in the next session. What is up everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the commentary playthrough of Five Fantasy X, the P Birdman mod. Now, let me get you up to speed on what's been happening, because the clock is showing exactly 50 hours. So I had another little kind of turbo mode uh, steel session, because I had to do a little bit of forward thinking. And the next two, well, two of the next three bosses we're going to face have some kind of confusion attack in the vanilla version. And I would assume that because, con because Confuse is such an annoying move that it's going to either retain those or it's going to be even worse so confusion protection is something that seems wise at this stage and of all of my characters up until this point Yuna is the only person who has a confused ward and I just figured that that's just not enough moving forward because even for this next battle uh, Sanctuary Keeper we could be needing more than one confused ward so I went ahead and did some more stealing because I've got the first strike one two punch of Riku and P Bird mod I could basically just uh, go into turbo mode, trigger an encounter. Riku gets her move before Tidus, so Riku will steal, and Tidus flees on next turn, so I can just do that on loop. And it, within like 15, 20 minutes of actual like real time, you can you can get the steals that you need. So let's have a look. Thankfully, well, it, it was a bit of a double-edged sword because the good the good news is that. Uh, you need the same amount of musks as you did in the vanilla in order to get Confused Proof and Confused Ward respectively. But the bad news was that the airy men, airy men I guess, uh, the floating one-eyes that give you the musks that you need, um, he's changed their steal rate so it's not 100% steal the first time. So it, it did take a little bit of work and even with Pickpocket it took a fair while, but we did get there. Um, alongside that one, 
Whoa, not even 40 sleeping powders are enough? Holy shit. I think that I think that's a bit far skewed. He's probably thinking ahead to Unaleska for this, because Sleep Proof helps against Unaleska. And actually against Sanctuary Keeper. But if <laughs> I mean if Sleep Ward is six sleeping powders, the fact that 40 is enough, I think is a bit overkill here. I think you should make it a bit easier to get sleep proof. I mean, I'm 50 hours into the game and I've been I've been I've had a few kind of steel farming sessions. And I'm still only at 40, so I think he needs to make that a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was going to say that we can um, that we can get sleep proof for Unilesco this battle too, but obviously that's not a thing. So yeah, I guess not much we can do about that. So let's go ahead and plan for Sanctuary Keeper. I feel like Confused Ward is always good to pair up with Poison Ward. So I feel like sticking one of those on there. But nowadays I'm kind of so sure that I'll always fail the first attempt that I don't really want to customize anything and just go in and just customize on my second one because I could spend like 5-10 minutes messing around here and the statuses and the moves could be totally different. So I think I'll go in uh, without too much preparation for now and just take it as it comes. SOS Shell I don't think it's going to be that, it's going to be that useful. I'm probably just going to go big on HP once again. I think Dark Ward might help. Then again, SOS Haste on a character that can use Haste, I think is just such a special thing so far in this mod that I'll keep that. Um, SOS Protect might be interesting here. I think I'll go for that. SOS Shell, SOS Reflect. That's interesting. We'll keep her Confused Ring. I think it has a sleep um, thing as well, so we can keep that. Okay, we'll go with this for now, and we'll see how it goes. Thankfully, there's not a cutscene. It's just, it comes, and then you just go straight into it. So yeah, a few hours of this is dead time, like I said, that where I wasn't actually playing, I left it on and all that kind of stuff. But 50 hours for Sanctuary Keeper, it's been a long time since I've had a run like that. It is definitely starting to become more reminiscent of no sphere grid runs, in that sense. Okay. As usual, Auron has the best potential to survive and deal damage, so... He's got to stay. I think I have 99 remedies now, interestingly. Yeah, because <laughs> you encounter these guys and I just did a quick steal and run every time I came to these as well. The remedies stacked up quick. And the grats as well. They helped. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. One of my favourite enemies of the entire game. I love the design, I love the AI. I do hope it has, it has more HP. I always thought the HP was just not good enough. I think in, in the vanilla, Flux has 70,000, and this guy has 40,000, which I always thought was just, just not enough. Uh, why don't we just steal to see what we got? Actually, I'll switch weapons first. We'll get that alchemy on there. Get some haste. Stole a bunch of ethers as well. We encounter a lot of behemoths, so I've got a, a good stock of ethers going. Turbo ether. Okay, that's not that great. Uh, start cheering up. So this this attack is is usually already very nasty. I do think that Sanctuary Keeper is just one of the best designed bosses of just in terms of his AI. Anyway, he really doesn't need that much modding. So you go. This is the attack that can confuse you, but the odds of three people getting confused at the same time is pretty low. 
So that's that's the one thing we have going for us. We're gonna have to start putting those 99 remedies to use. I do wonder if Auto Med might be a good idea here. I'm probably gonna switch to that. It's up here, wasn't it? Yeah. Tyus is asleep, so his confusion is kind of irrelevant. But Oren's got to recover. Okay, so let's begin with the usual. I don't know how he does it, but I think he's able to disable ejector shot for bosses. So very important that he can do that. <laughs> he's, he's got curse. Immune to power break. Okay. I think we need um, Holy Waters for Curse. We'll deal with that later. How much is a regular doing? 1,600. Yeah, we're going to need... We're going to need those cheers, for sure. Alchemy is going to help, for sure. So we'll see the pattern. Use Photon Wings, a normal physical attack. Man of Breath is always very nasty when it happens. Always at Convergence. No, Convergence is the is a Thuban one. Um, I think we only did 1,600 damage, by the way. I noticed that. That's not great. Um, I guess we'll continue to try these. It's immune to that as well. Okay. That's pretty weak. But... I was going to say, did it disable... No, it didn't. Okay. Good. Right, I think that's... Oh shit. 4,103. Okay. Um, we'll have to bring Lulu in in order to give Auron five focuses because if we have if we have him survive Mana Breath as well, then I think he's fairly safe. I feel like Magic Defense plus 10 is also a good idea. It might even be enough, to be honest. SOS Protect. I'm going to go for this. Threatening Slap. She's going to die from that. Since we're still trying to set up here, uh, I'm thinking about hasting again. Keep her alive if we can. Berserk on itself. Okay. Right, we need a focus or two in here. Don't want it to remain with that Berserk for too long. Yeah, there we go. Let's try it again. Interesting. So I think it had two turns where it could use this type of AI, so I think the next turn should be something else. Okay, um, I 
Okay, so we come back to rotation. So I think um, the pattern is the same. From what I can see. What do we got? Yeah, so no one got confused this time, for example. Uh, yeah, okay. I think we're done with our efforts to... To use focus. So it seems like we're able to survive at the moment. Not looking too bad. Alright. Physical attack. Auron should be equal to that. Yep. So, power break and armor break didn't work, right? Let's try Magic Break and Mental Break. Tail Sweep is not enough to take Goron out here, so we should be fine. 2076. I think that actually worked. But because I don't have Sensor, I can't tell. He's ready to survive Mana Breath. We'll take Titus out because he's got 5 Hastes and 3 Focuses. Sorry, not 5 Hastes. Five cheers and three focuses, so... Okay... Looking good so far. I think you used to be able to inflict darkness. And slow, I think. But then obviously you used to counter with haste. I'm trying to remember all the old tricks that we used to use against it. Wow, we've got 46 soul springs. Holy shit. That's useful. I guess a good way to check for immunity is just to see what's going to happen with something like Dark Buster. Yeah. Unsurprising, but... Okay, no problem. Look at that alchemy. Picked on Riku again. Oof, she survived it. Very good. Uh, oh yeah, I think I used Magic Break, but uh, Mana Breath still did full damage. Try Mental Break next. I think that one worked as well. We'll bring Lulu in soon. Oh, it ca Threatening Slap carries Threaten. Well, that's unsurprising. I should have guessed that. Uh, I mean, that's a status I've never encountered before, so... <laughs> I don't know if there's anything we can do, or that just means you miss a turn. Hmm. Interesting. Zerk. Let me read the help text that I haven't had a chance to yet. High attack power and high defenses. Okay. Photon wings cause many statuses. Likes to slap a lot. <laughs> it's threatening slap. Causes you to lose control. Nice. I do like that idea. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's haste back up again here. Gotta get moving. So it does waste these two turns. I'm not, sh I'm not too sure that's the best idea, to be honest, because 
if you've got enough remedies, which you can steal in abundance because you've got Grats and Mandragoras, I'm not sure if that's the best, but... Right. Uh... Oh, shit. She does have haste, at least, which is nice. Okay. Let's fire off something like... The Zaga. See what that does. 874. Well... Doesn't look mental broken to me. Maybe I'll try again. But I, I lose an extra turn here. Should be okay. Tail sweep. Hmm, I think Luda will die. Then again, her defense. No. Yeah, she will die because Photon wins like a fixed range damage. It's unaffected by other stuff. Ooh, she got lucky there. Wow. 58 left. Nice. Now, you used to be able to poison this thing, I believe. Back in the day, so let's give that a try as well. Yeah, immune now. Uh... So I'm pretty sure Sensor's not going to tell me if there's mental break here. Doesn't. I can't confirm mental break for a while. He's been silenced, which is not good. Again. Get Lou back in haste. Oof. Let's see if this works now. One thousand five hundred. Okay, well, it is better for sure. Threatening slap is coming next. There's no one in haste here to do a quick, do a quick one. Well, Oren's the only one in haste, but even he's not quick enough. Just wondering if Riku will survive it. Pretty sure Lulu will. She has enough HP for that. Because she's got alchemy, I'd have preferred her to revive Kimari, but... I'm not 100% sure if she's going to survive. I think she did once before, but... Okay, didn't get hit with it, which is nice. Get Lulu doing some damage for a change. We haven't seen that for a while. Oh yeah, look at that Avenger coming in. Sweet. Oh, he's been berserked. It has an extra effect, I think. Oh, he's been provoked. Okay. Um, that's not good. Let's see if that worked. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought it was like a delayed counter or something, but no. Sweet. Should be Berserk next, I think. Ah, Dispel. Okay. I don't think there are any Saces on it anyway. So it's not a big deal. So at least everyone's putting a little bit of work in here. It's good to see. Ok, 
get my man back in haste. Oh, we dispelled the, the mental break, I think, by the way. That, that is something they dispelled. So yeah, Lulu got a couple of spells and I think like three spells overall. She made some contribution. But definitely don't want to keep this guy in Berserk. Oh, it missed. Interesting. You can just throw in a few extra little bits and pieces of help. She has a confused ward which will help for the next move. He says, and I bet she gets confused. No, that's good. Okay. Use the remedy, it's fine. We've got remedies for days. I think we can start doing some damage with Walker too. Why not? Only 778. Seven, wow, that's not good. That uh, is not good. Um, we'll forego a turn here just to make sure that Tyler survives. So we're not doing too badly here. Unless, obviously, he's got to trick up his sleeve once it goes below a certain HP amount. There's that Avenger. Very good. He's doing a lot more damage than uh, than Waka right now. Interestingly. I think I'm going to give him an Aether in this battle. So he can fire a few more hastes. I think it's once every three moves that he uses Tail Sweep. Oh no, Oren's not protected well enough. I got lucky there. I forgot about that move. Almost forgot. But then again, he's got Shell. I think he would have survived. Does he still have Shell? He does. So he would have survived regardless, but still. I guess I didn't get as lucky as I thought. Threatening Slap coming next. Yeah, she got threatened there. Uh. Ah, shit. So you lose a turn regardless, pretty much. There's not too much you can do. I mean, it's odd, like, it, I, I thought that because she's threatened, that turn should skip, but I think it's okay. I do wonder if there's another steal, like a different steal. But I'll take another turbo ether. Make sure Oren's in tip-top shape. He scared me a bit when that man of breath came. 
Yeah, 2600, there we go. But I do feel like the two Berserks in a row kind of make it wasted turns. Because normally what would happen here is, because uh, it would be susceptible to more statuses, like Poison and I think Darkness, I believe. Um, because you could do stuff like that, this is a turn where it would use Asuna or something like that. But obviously now, because it doesn't have those same um, weaknesses, it just reverts to Berserk and it will just use Berserk for two turns. So effectively it's giving you two free turns. So I'm not sure um, that's the best way to mod it. I think probably one of those turns should still be something that's going to cause your party some damage. So I'll let P-Bird know about that as soon as possible. Because this video is not going to be aired for probably like a month or two having actually played this. Still is Sunna here, we don't need to use up our remedies. There's that auto mode coming in. Is she gonna heal everyone or just herself? Just herself. Well hey, that's something. I'll probably bring in someone to haste Oren on this next move. Just thinking... Kimari's probably a little more disposable. But he's going to get delayed quite badly when he uses haste. Tyus already has haste. Ugh. Okay. I'll make sure... Ideally, I want to toss a Mega Potion here, but it's just, it feels overkill. Let's just make sure everyone survives. Try and, don't try and do anything too fancy. We're doing well in the battle, so keep it that way. Haven't even needed to unload overdrives yet. Tail sweep. Only taking 153 damage. There we go. Uh, let's double check that Oren has shell. He does. So he should be fine. He should be able to survive mana breath. Well, none of the rest of these guys will. But this might charge his overdrive. And in case Tidus does survive. Then again, let me just give Auron the high potion here. Okay, it's the first time he's been hit with it. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Only 1,500 damage from such a big move. Ordinarily, that move is just deadly. get a protect for Tylus as well. He's spending a lot of time out here. Ah, but the shell's worn off. There's a fair few turns before the next Mana Breath, so I think we'll, we'll manage. Oh, nice. Try and slap. Good. Ah, so the Tail Sweep even counters the counter. Whoa. <laughs> Look at these two just battling out. Love it. Uh, shell on Auron. I might swap him out this turn, just so I can heal a bit for everybody else. Tyus is the current most valuable person here of his haste and his counter-attack, which is doing decent damage to be fair. Missed. Oh, he's been provoked. I forgot about that. Shit. I always forget about that. Provoke is just something I'm so not used to my characters having, and we haven't seen it for quite some time. So I've got to remember. 
and not lose control. It's another free turn coming up, I believe. Yeah, I'm not quite sure when it does tail sweep. It seems to be doing it a lot more frequently now. Um. And this unit situation. Okay, Oren's got his shell back. That's good. Ah, Lulu's still got haste. I forgot about that. That's nice. Wow, I've got two confusions this time. See what I mean? You can never be too careful with that stuff. But we have a hasted Titus here to help handle business. We've used a lot of remedies for this battle, though. A lot of remedies. Um, what's next? It's the physical attack, right? Oren. He's fine. Just double check. Uh, protect. Shell. Okay, that's fine. And a confused Reaper is going to be taken out here. That's no problem. So we're wearing it down slowly. There's no real way to do any huge damage here. Um, aside from unloading overdrives, from what I'm seeing. Just gotta watch out for tail sweep when it's berserked. Like that could be dangerous. Oh, we did it. There we go. So Sanctuary Keeper wasn't that much harder, to be fair. Uh, I feel like there's actually one boss battle that can be improved. Obviously, the glaring thing that I'm seeing is two Berserks in a row. I didn't even try and slow it, because slowing it used to be... Well, Reflect plus Slow was like a, an old trick that you could use against it. But I'm sure P. Birdman's smart enough to have not let that be a loophole. And it was just going to cause it to use haste and really mess things up anyway. So, yeah. Not a pushover, but could have been better, I think. There we go. Do we get any nice equipment here? Glorious Bangle and another Return Sphere. We're almost up to three. Hey, come on. Let's go. That theme. We are almost there, aren't we? Hmm. Legendary Guardians choke sometimes too, yeah? <laughs> Legendary Guardian. I was just a boy. A boy about your age, actually. I wanted to change the world, too. But I changed nothing. That is my story. Ah, <sighs> Aura Man. One of, his, one of his greatest moments there. How can you not love this man? How can you not? Anyone who dislikes Auron is just... It's just not someone to be trusted. Okay. 
So what we're going to do now that we have even more teleportation available. Now is the final run towards the Zanakan Dome. So because I, I finished things a lot more quickly than I thought I would. I didn't even need any confused wards. But you can you can bet your bottom dollar I'd be using them against Unaleska. I'm not having that mind blast confuse me. Well, at least confuse more than one person. Because shit gets really critical, man. Unalesco is fast. And haste is a bigger problem than ever. So we're going to have to watch out. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. There's still Spectral Keeper, which can sometimes be a bit of a problem. If you're not careful. So... And I don't think we have enough high Palo potions for any real Berserk Ward. But I believe Kimari and Auron do, so I think through the story they both get Berserk Wards. So you always have two at least. Heading up to 100 save slots. Well, 99. Okay. Um, we should have two. Shit. If we had one more we could really get into that. Obviously the biggest point of curiosity is can we steal candles of life? If we can, that's going to really change things because we can upgrade from zombie touch to zombie strike and obviously have zombie proof as well which is going to really change the flow of the Unalesca battle. So got a little bit more work to do but we're almost there. 